Segunda llamada. Tercera llamada, listo, empezamos. ¿Sí? Gracias. Muy buenos días a los presentes, muy buenos días a las personas que nos ven en la transmisión. Este, antes que nada, bienvenidos a esta que es la vigésima conferencia, 20 se dice fácil. 2023, Conferencia de Ingeniería Eléctrica, Computación, Control Automático, Ciencias de Computación. Y eh, voy a proceder a dar el aviso de seguridad para el caso de contingencia. En caso de sonar la alarma, trátese de un sismo o temblor en el edificio, ha probado ser un edificio robusto, sin embargo, la evacuación se realiza por las puertas de acceso. Con calma, en orden, si ustedes se encuentran la puerta cerrada, abran y déjenla abierta para las personas que los vengan siguiendo. El punto de reunión está afuera del edificio, directamente hay un punto, que es la zona de reunión, y reunirse en grupos de 10 para poder facilitar el conteo en caso de que Protección Civil necesite hacer una, una auditoría del personal afuera. The same group, eh, esa es una conferencia internacional, por lo tanto, a partir de ahora, el inglés será el idioma que estaremos utilizando en la comunicación para todos los que nos están viendo en la transmisión en vivo. Welcome to the 2023 20th Congress, International Congress of uh, Automatic Control, Computer Science and Electric Engineering. It's a pleasure for me to welcome you all. And here we are celebrating another event. 20 events says easily, but it has a lot of effort to do. Now I need to give the corresponding Uh, safety indications. In case that the alarm sounds, I ask you to all walk calmly to the entrance doors and go out to the parking lot where there's a point marked for the reunion point. There, we ask you to group in uh, groups of 10 people in order that uh, civil protection needs to make an inventory. If you find the door closed, please open it up and leave it open for the people that are coming back after you. Don't shout, don't yell, don't run. Leave. We can go calmly in case of season. It, this, the, this building has proven to be strong, so we can go calmly, no, no panic, no running. Well, now it's my honor to present you to the chief of the Department of Electrical Engineering, who's going to continue with the introduction of this, the 20th Congress 2023. Okay, thank you, Valente. Buenos días a todos ustedes. Gracias por venir. Eh, 
Esta es una conferencia internacional y el idioma oficial de la conferencia es el inglés y entonces tratamos siempre de, de forzarnos a hablar en inglés como un ejercicio también y de que la audiencia extranjera nos escuche. Okay, thank you very much for coming. Uh, this is the, the 20th edition of the CCE, the International Conference on Electrical Engineering and Computer Science and Automatic Control. And as Valente already uh, uh, talked about the CV protection actions, uh, single star has to acoustic seismic uh, added systems installed into the uh, single star. Uh, this building has a local alarm here outside of the auditorium. And uh, the instructions in case of uh, hurricane uh, seismic uh, and evacuation of destination of the carrier out. Uh, uh, Walking about the corridors and go outside to the meeting point, and, and you know very well the instructions because uh, here the citizens in Mexico City, we are uh, we are uh, uh, very uh, we are uh, accustomed to to this situation and and just to say uh, at this time uh, a national conference on automatic control is celebrated in, in Acapulco Guerrero, who is now in other uh, by the uh, hurricane uh, and we expect that uh, they be okay and that the Guerrero state will be okay and everything will be fine. Okay, uh, welcome to the conference uh, to authors, attendees, colleagues, students, personnel and any visitor uh, from uh, institutions uh, as Polytechnic, uh, UNAM, WAM, etc. And we would like to, to give you a very warm welcome to this uh, edition of the CC conference, the CC 2023. We wish you a good, satisfying, and also a successful conference. And, and, and this year, uh, this year, the program committee and, and the organization of the CC 2023 is again following a hybrid format. Uh, mostly with in-person and oral presentations, but also as a virtual conference for people in other cities and also uh, in other countries. The registration fee is also free for of any church for all authors of the uh, papers and also for attendees to the conference. And the final list of articles to be published in the IEEE Explorer will consist only with those papers formally presented in an oral version for discussion at the conference and for people uh, in other cities and, and other countries, uh, they will, will, will do this uh, via the Microsoft Teams uh, platform. Um, okay, uh, this year we are celebrating the 20th edition of the conference and the organization is possible with the collaboration of uh, the Department of Electrical Engineering here at Silvestar Zacatenco. Uh, this time we also have the, the, the collaboration of Sindestar Guadalajara and also colleagues uh, from Sindestar Tamaulipas and, and also other institutions like the UPITA uh, from the National Polytechnic Institute and also the Universidad Autónoma San Luis Potosí and other institutions like the, the Universidad Nacional Aeronáutica in Querétaro, uh, Universidad de la Mixteca, uh, in Aoe, etc. The conference deals with different research areas related with electrical engineering, computing science, and automatic control, as well as other related research and technological topics uh, uh, related with the, the scientific uh, topics, uh, tracks, and, and interests of, uh, at Simvestad and in our country. Um, the opening event, the plenary conference, technical sessions, and, and also research and development conference and we will have now uh, tutorials and webinars will be held in person and also online using our institutional platform based on Microsoft Teams. So every connection, uh, every virtual connection will be done by, by Teams. And we expect to offer you an interesting scientific conference and technical discussions on plenary lectures. Uh, this time we research and development conference uh, about uh, te technology and software and, and, and applications, uh, also tutorials and technical, the technical sessions. 
So we want to talk and thank to all authors, program chairs, reviewers, and the technical staff for your commitment, your collaboration, your support uh, to the CCE 2023. And, and, and this, this year, uh, 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 we received uh, 144 submissions from 18 different countries, from which uh, 97, that is 67.36% uh, of uh, acceptance rate. Uh, uh, so 97 of them have been accepted for presentation and publication. Uh, this time the acceptance rate is, is, is uh, uh, kind of low, and, but that reflects the, the quality uh, of all the revisions and of the, the, the reviewing process uh, for every paper. So we received submissions from authors from different countries as uh, Algeria, Argentina, Australia, Austria, Bangladesh, France, India, Ireland, Italy, Kuwait, of course, Mexico. Uh, Pakistan, Paraguay, Poland, Russia, Turkey, the United Kingdom, Spain, uh, and also from the USA. Uh, there, we also have participants from different institutions, uh, from different cities here in, in Mexico. And this is important because uh, uh, this fact reflects the international role of the CCE 2023. And just to give a, a, a quick view of the tax and the acceptance rate, it is important that some topics are very, uh, they, they have 50% uh, of acceptance rates and others uh, 95 uh, acceptance rate. So uh, this conference is uh, kind of hard, uh, has uh, reflects the quality of the conference, reflects the, 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 the dedication, the commitment of any reviewer, any process, and this is important to, 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 to remark because every year, this year especially, we have to be involved with the cross-check, uh, with the uh, uh, conflict of interest of every paper, of every reviewer, every program committee, every session chair, uh, every program chair. So this is the, the role of every participant have to, 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 to take care of the uh, uh, software like cross-check, identicate, and so on, to avoid any conflict in the future. So uh, it, it is very important because the IT Explorer uh, recommends uh, that the, the, the percentage of similarity be about 30% and not, not greater than 40% of uh, similarity with respect to other publications of the same authors of other uh, papers or books uh, in the literature. So it is important because the conference uh, has to, to take care of, of these uh, issues well. We will have keynote speakers, uh, plenary conference. We will have three plenary conferences. The, the, conferences, uh, the, the first one will be given by Professor Randy Lapehak, uh, from uh, Prague in the Czech Republic. He's a researcher uh, uh, in control theory, in the control theory department of the, at the Institute of Information Theory and Automation, uh, and also member of the Czech Academy of Sciences. He will give uh, uh, an interesting talk about stabilization of nonlinear large scale systems and synchronization of nonlinear multi agent systems, a comparison of both problems. Uh, this will be uh, given after this uh, opening ceremony. And tomorrow we will, we will have uh, the, the, another uh, keynote uh, speaker by Professor Margarita Sordo, uh, who is a senior medical uh, informatics researcher and also instructor of medicine at the Barham and Women's Hospital at the Harvard Medical School in USA. He will give the, 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 the conference uh, on artificial intelligence and the practice of medicine uh, tomorrow uh, and during the afternoon. And the, uh, the Friday, and Friday, uh, on Friday, we will have the, the, the conference uh, by Professor, Professor uh, Michela Meo, uh, who is a professor of the Department of Electronics and Telecommunications at the Politecnico di Torino in Italy. 
you will uh, talk about the about the system sustainability of radio access networks and and the the, the chair of this session will be the professor Gisel uh, Galvan uh, is in the top uh, and and professor Mauricio uh, uh, okay yeah. sorry okay uh, this time we will uh, uh, we'll have also uh, a new edition uh, as several years before. We will have uh, a stands uh, here at the hall of the, at the, uh, of the building. And, uh, and, and Jonathan Mesa helped, uh, to, to help us with research and development conference uh, by important companies on technology. And we ask we ask them to to give a application conference uh, for students and and people interested in technology and applications. So uh, the, the research and development conferences and applications uh, uh, today we will have the, the the conference by Brian Rounds from Omega Newark Companies uh, in USA. He will talk about the how to choose the right sensor for your your application. And, and, and Wednesday, uh, we also have uh, one conference application uh, uh, by Chris Burroughs from Raspberry Newark Companies uh, from the United Kingdom. He will give uh, two times the same talk, the same conference. Uh, uh, he will talk about Raspberry Pi's commercial products, including the RP2014, CM4, and also the new Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, and on Friday, we'll have the, the talk by Jesus Rodriguez from, from, from Tektronix and Newark companies. Uh, he will talk about uh, in difficult networks, uh, trends on measurement requirements. Uh, that will be the, 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 the three uh, research and, and development conferences. And we also have some uh, a sort of tutorials for students, participants, attendees. And, and Jesus Rodriguez from Tectronics in Newark, he will give uh, two tutorials. Uh, the first one on fundamentals of oscilloscopes and signal decoding. And the second tutorial about fundamentals of spectrum analyzers and digital modulation analysis. Uh, this will be given on Thursday in different uh, uh, in different sessions, and uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And on Friday we will have the 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 other tutorial by Jonathan Mesa. Uh, from Weller and Newark companies here in Mexico. We we'll talk about the extending solar and deep life uh, on Friday. Uh, we will be here uh, in the stands uh, in the hall, in the auditorium. On Friday, uh, we will have uh, 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 and also to another tutorial, uh, an interactive tutorial for students here at, here at, the, at this room four. Uh, it will be given by Genaro Elian Herrera Bandin and from National Instruments Company uh, in USA. He will talk about virtual instrumentation with LabVIEW uh, from the idea uh, to the deployment. Uh, this tutorial uh, uh, will have the opportunity to students to register, to be registered, and to, 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 to have some uh, free license of LabVIEW and to practice with uh, Genaro in this tutorial. So it, it will be given on Friday. And the technical program, the technical program uh, consists on, on different topics, automatic control, biomedical engineering and biomimetics, computer science and com computer engineering, communication systems, mechatronics, mechanical engineering, nanotechnology, materials and applications, uh, Power electronics, solid state materials, electronic devices, and integrated circuits, aeronautics and aerospace engineering, and autonomous navigation. And, and we want to acknowledge uh, our program chairs, uh, 
uh, from different institutions. Uh, Dr. Giselle Montserrat Galván Tejada from the Section de Comunicaciones here at Simbestad Zacatenco. Dr. Maria Ana Luz Orbea Amador here also at Simbestad Zacatenco from the Solid State Electronics uh, Section. Uh, and he, he, he took care about the nanotechnology materials and applications. Also, uh, our colleague, Dr. Arturo Escobosa Chavarria from the CES, Vida uh, Simbestad Zacatenco. He, 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 he was in charge of the solid state materials, electron, electron devices, and integrated circuits. Dr. Javier Rubio Loyola from the city of Tamaulipas. He, he take care about the topic of computer science and computer engineering. Dr. Jose Javier Mildeón from the city of Guadalajara. Uh, he take care of the automatic control topic. Dr. Abraham Catobar Corona from Lupita IPN. Uh, uh, on biomedical engineering, Dr. Juan Fernando Pesa Solís from Yupita IPN uh, on mechatronic, Dr. Oscar Alejandro García Pérez from the UNAC, from the Universidad Nacional Aeronáutica de Querétaro, uh, on the topic aeronautics and aerospace engineering and autonomous delegations, Dr. Ricardo Álvarez Salas from uh, Universidad Autónoma de San Luis Potosí. Uh, on the topic of power electronics, and also uh, Dr. Manuel Ariel Montiel from the Universidad Tecnológica de la Mixteca in Oaxaca. On the topic of mechanical engineers, who this time the, we, we, we didn't have uh, papers on this topic. Uh, that was the, 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 the fact. And as I said before, the, this time the CCE 2023 will have a research and development conference, tutorials, and stands. And uh, this opportunity, this opportunity uh, is provided by uh, Ingeniero Jonathan Mesa from Newark, uh, who is an update company. And, and, and they represent also, uh, uh, as Newark, they represent also to Omega, Raspberry Pi Foundation, Petronix, Weller, National Instruments, and so on. So uh, Jonathan Mesa will, will be here during these three days uh, in the stands, uh, the webinars, and also giving tutorials. So thank, thanks, thank, thanks to Jonathan by this opportunity to interact with technological and software uh, uh, issues, uh, who is important because uh, at these uh, difficult times, we don't have enough money and our infrastructure perhaps is not the best at the moment. Uh, but uh, here we, we have the opportunity to interact with uh, the new technologies and also with uh, the interesting applications. Uh, okay, uh, the conference will be given uh, physically, in person, and also uh, uh, virtual for people in other cities, in other countries. The connection to the conference will be, uh, will be uh, uh, using Microsoft Teams, who is our uh, institutional platform. So to connect, you have to go to this, uh, to this link there, to ccn.simbestar.nx. And there you, you will find information about the schedule, the schedule online, the schedule and in the PDF version. Also, there, there is some, some, uh, some part where you, you can connect to the virtual rooms and see the schedule online. There, you will also uh, have uh, the, some, some part where you can register for the tutorials, uh, for the, the, the tutorial on Friday with National Instruments. And, uh, and, and, and there, you can connect to, to the schedule and uh, who is organized in four rooms, four rooms, four parallel rooms, uh, uh, parallel sessions. From room one, who will be uh, outside upstairs, uh, Room two who will be here at the communications room. Uh, room three who will be dedicated to tutorials uh, over there uh, uh, to, to the left. And this will be the room, the room four for plenary lectures, uh, conference, and, and more uh, uh, interesting uh, or crowded sessions. So uh, you will have to 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 in, in the online uh, in the online uh, schedule. You will have to, to, to give a click to, to join the session for Bio One, SS One, AC One, MEC One, etc. And we also, 
we we'll have uh, some breaks between sessions, also from uh, uh, after plenary lectures uh, for interconnections, also for some coffee break, and also some time for the lunchtime. Uh, uh, and, and some final remarks to start the conference. Uh, uh, so, so, some final remarks. Uh, some final remarks. Is the, organiz the organizing committee wish to thank to first of all to all the authors, to the anonymous reviewers, to uh, program chairs, to session chairs, to attending people, to support to the to our uh, supporting staff here at the staff Zacatenco. For the value and time, effort, uh, collaboration, support, uh, all of them make possible this uh, 20th edition of the CCE 2023. And we also give uh, our special thanks to for the help and support, of course, to our uh, institution, Simba Staff, who is our main sponsor. Uh, after all, we are we are here in Simple Staff, uh, continuing our effort, doing research, uh, offering uh, graduate studies, master of sciences, uh, PhDs, uh, doctoral uh, internships, and so on. Collaboration with other institutions. Also, we receive people from different institutions for uh, bachelor of science thesis, uh, uh, etc. Uh, so this is our main institution, Simvestab. Thank to Simvestab. We also thank to IQPE to, to support the, the, for the sponsorship because uh, IQPE uh, every year is, is is more restrictive with publications because the IQPE uh, allows to to be uh, uh, allows to our papers and publications to be part of the IQPE uh, uh, Explore database. Who is uh, Register who is uh, certified in Scopus and also in Web of Science. So this conference is a an in, in index uh, conference. So that 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 makes some quality, some uh, some kind of quality of this conference. Uh, and and also uh, the IEEE uh, uh, requests that some society uh, will be involved in the conference. In this case. The IEEE Electron Devices Society uh, 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 give us the, the 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 possibility to register the conference in the IEEE Explore and the IEEE. So thanks to Professor Arturo Escobosa for this opportunity and and, and, the, and his colleagues because they are part of this Electron Devices Society and also uh, to the International Program Committee, to our colleagues, to all our colleagues from this department, from other uh, uh, campuses, in uh, the state of Guadalajara, in the state of Tamaulipas, uh, from uh, also the support from the, our research assistants to our students, because this conference is made for students, for practice here at home, for practice in an international conference in other language. Uh, so it's a, a good beginning to, to start giving a talk in other language and and, 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 and presenting your results of the Master of Science, PhD thesis, thesis, and so on. So this is a conference uh, designed uh, for you uh, and also for our colleagues uh, from different institutions. So thank you very much to all of you. Thank you for you to, to come into this conference. And, uh, and, and sincerely, uh, me, my colleagues, my department, my institutions, uh, uh, thank you, thanks to, to everyone. And we expect that the conference uh, be nice, fruitful, successful, and that uh, 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 this time the, the, the financial support is difficult because you know uh, Mexico is not good very well in, 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 in the economical supports, but uh, we continue the 20th edition of this conference. Uh, it, it's easy to say 
20 conference, but uh, before the 20th conference, uh, uh, we, we had uh, several national conferences. Uh, so uh, we have uh, about uh, 26, 27 conferences here at Simvestad, some other in Acapulco. The first international conference was in Acapulco Guerrero in 24, in the year 24. So uh, then uh, in Veracruz and Tuxtla Gutierrez, in Mérida, in Ciudad de Carmen, and so on. And, and, and in the future, we expect that the conference move to other city. Well, uh, so to, to finish, thank you very much for all of you. And we will start with the first plenary lecture. Thank you. So we, we respect some few minutes to get the connection. Thank you very much for your presence. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Your microphone. Can you turn on your microphone? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can you hear Hello? me? Yeah, sure. I can hear you. Yes, the tones. It's audible now. Gerardo, can you hear me? Gerardo? Gerardo, can you hear me? We can hear you, Javier. 
The microphone is yep. turned off. Can you switch? Okay. So can you hear me now? Dr. Jose, yes, at least in the um, online transmission, you are you are audible. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, Dr. Gerardo or Ricardo can hear you also in the auditorium in the physical space. So I think you are you are online now. So we can start, Gerardo. Dr. Jose, it's only yeah. for the interruption. I think you can start the, the lecture right now. Okay, uh, can, can everyone hear me uh, over there? Okay, I'm here. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. What about now? No, no, no. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, a little bit. <laughs> it seems to be a problem with the communication or with the microphone. Bueno, hola, 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 bueno, bueno, hello, hello, ahora el cañón, ahora el cañón, mira. Con un volumen de cañón a ver si. Hello, hello. Hola. Sí. Ya. Yeah. What about now? Okay, Javier. Can, yeah. you. can you hear me? Yeah. Well, it seems that we have some problems. Uh, uh, good morning, everybody. We will start with the first plenary lecture. And let me welcome my colleague, uh, Branislav Rehak from the Czech Republic. Uh, Branislav has agreed to participate as a conference in, in keynote speaker. And he will deliver uh, the lecture about stabilization of nonlinear large scale systems and synchronization of nonlinear multi agent systems. Uh, Branislav uh, uh, studied at the Faculty of Mathematics and Physics of Charles University. Uh, he got a PhD degree from the Czech Technical University in 2005. And since then, he has been working as a researcher at the Institute of Information Theory and Automation. Well, Branislav, can you hear me? Yeah, if you can share your uh, presentation, please. So can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. OK, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And hello, everybody. I just share my screen. And. Hello for you. Hello uh, uh, for you. Good morning for me. Good afternoon. And I'm uh, really happy to have been offered this uh, possibility to uh, to deliver a lecture at your conference. And I hope it will be uh, quite interesting for you. So can you see the presentation right now? Yeah, we can see it. Oh, OK. Thank you. So first, I had uh, quite a lot of, uh, of work in the field of uh, multi-agent systems and uh, 
and large scale interconnected systems and sometimes these two problems are confused together uh, but one must say that these uh, problems are really similar and it's also necessary to see that uh, there are very important differences between two of them and both uh, in the field of nonlinear large scale systems and large and nonlinear multi agent systems but also uh, what i decided to add uh, of these systems with time delays so i decided to extend this talk a little bit so let me start so as i said these two problems are really closely related even uh, me i heard sometimes uh, the reviewers that uh, the, my paper on large scale systems is actually about multi agent systems and so on which is not true so i would like to clarify this issue a little bit so what is similar method for, for the stabilizing control design which uses the uh, same methods la, like linear matrix inequalities, uh, lyapunov krasovsky or maybe lyapunov razumikhin functionals, and so on. So in this talk, I would like to compare properties of uh, the control design of large-scale systems and uh, multi-agent systems with attention, as I said, to non-linearities and time delays. So first, what a large interconnected system is. So it is a system which is composed of a large number of subsystems. It is a system which can be divided into a number of subsystems. These subsystems uh, interact in a kind of a restricted way. And the control is com computed and designed also in this decentralized way that uh, the control takes uh, measurements from one subsystem and controls this subsystem only. There are interconnections in the uh, overall large scale system, but the control does not take these uh, interconnections into account very much, just only to provide some additional robustness in order to make this uh, control stabilizing the whole overall system even in presence of this these interconnections so why to do this because uh, the number of subsystems can be so large so that the design of uh, the centralized uh, controller for for the whole interconnected system would be too difficult or would be too prone for uh, failures and so on. What is important, uh, a large uh, interconnected systems with identical subsystems is uh, the kind of su uh, interconnected subsystems which is met really often. So I will uh, concentrate on this uh, class of interconnected subsystems only. This uh, assumption allows us to, to simplify the design really considerably so what are the examples paper machines uh, parallel chemical reactors which is quite quite understandable because uh, the chemical re reactors are the, the subsystems and they are somehow connected large flexible structures is also a very important example because these structures are, have really many subsystems so that controlling them in a centralized way could be really impossible what i would like to point out are the power networks in the power networks the typical feature is that the power generators are connected through the power network which means that every power generator is connected with any other. This is another subclass of uh, interconnected systems, such so-called 
symmetrically interconnected SIPs systems, and this is uh, also really important. Uh, and this feature also uh, allows us to find some special design mythos, but I do not want to go into details in this direction very much. So this is the scheme of the interconnected systems. Uh, we, we can see the subsystems S1 to Sn controllers C1 to Cn. We can see that every, every controller takes uh, the values from its own subsystem, say it this way, and sends uh, the control signal to this subsystem also. But the subsystems are interconnected. So, the, for example, from the first subsystem, the state X1 is sent to the controller C1, but also to the other subsystem. It's an example to the subsystem S2. Now, I would like to introduce the multi agent systems, which is a system consisting of a large number of autonomous systems. These systems have no interconnection, no physical interconnections, as in the case of interconnected system, the, which were dis, uh, introduced previously. But uh, unlike uh, these uh, subsystems, uh, these uh, autonomous systems, these agents communicate in some way. And the goal is to achieve a kind of collective behavior, or some common dynamics to be um, to be achieved, and this even if their initial conditions are different. So, typical examples are control of platoons of vehicles, control swarms of autonomous drones, and so on. Also, the power networks can be cast into this setting. As I said, the communication is restricted between the agents. Every agent communicates just with a number relatively small of their neighbors. And one can distinguish two problems, the leader following problem and the consensus problem. The leader following problem, the characteristic feature of it is that there is one agent which has no control. This is so-called leader. And all the remaining agents, the followers, should mimic the behavior of the leader. And in the consensus problem, they should be all the agents should behave in the same way. They should reach the so-called average dynamics. I will talk about this later. So I will con concentrate on the large scale systems that identical subsystems and the consensus problem of the multi-agent systems again with identical agents. And at the end of the talk, I would like to, to talk about the containment problem, which is a generalization of the leader following problem. And then also what I have forgotten to write on this slide, I would like to talk about these nonlinear systems. So multi-agent system, we can see that any subsystem, any agent, is autonomous, is connected to its own controller, but the controller controllers are somehow communicating. They are taking the values of the of the states from other agents as well. So let us talk about large scale systems. As for now, I would assume they are linear. The subsystems are linear. Their number is n. And the large scale system, the subsystem of one large scale system is defined as written here. The ith subsystem is defined as its own dynamics, which is expressed by the matrices A and B. It can, uh, as an input, it uh, can, the input can be some disturbances that are expressed by the term G times double Y. And also we have the interconnections. I will talk about them later. And the control 
is uh, expressed using uh, control matrix K times the state of this subsystem X, Xi, which can be which can be delayed. The delay is tau i. This uh, subscript tau, tau i means uh, the time delay. It is actually uh, equal to x, xi at times t minus tau i. So now let's talk about these interconnections. So mm, the matrix a, a tilde is uh, equal for all subsystems. It's not so difficult. But uh, the matrix L, which uh, has elements L i j, is interesting. It uh, expresses the interconnections between the subsystems. The element L i j is one if there is a direct connection from j to i, otherwise it's zero. Yeah. For simplicity, we will assume that matrix L is symmetric, which is uh, which is all, almost every every time uh, fulfilled in physical system systems. So since L is symmetric, its eigenvalues are simple and real. So this is what we need for our analysis, which makes it really simple. And the goal is to find this matrix K such that the control is designed, is computed as written here. And we require that all subsystems are st stabilized. And that in spite of presence of these interconnections. And what about the delays? What we assume that uh, the delays are bounded and the bound t tau bar is known. So this is what we need for the control design. So, contrary to this, the multi-agent system is uh, defined as follows. As we said, the as I said, uh, there is there are no interconnections in the between the agents. So there are really autonomous systems, but there are differences. The first different I difference is that we need to achieve that this, uh, that all, all agents reach the so-called average dynamics, which is uh, computed as an average of the state of all agents, which is written here. The limit of the of the differences should go to zero. But what is uh, very important that the control is computed as the control matrix K times the differences between the states of the agent I and its neighbors. These are the XJ. And we will investigate the, the case when the delays are not equal. So that's why we have tau J and tau I, which are in general, not equal. So we assume um, that uh, the delays are measurable functions. And the interconnection matrix is defined as follows, is similar to the matrix L in the case of interconnected systems. But the second, oh, another, Another difference is that for the multi-agent systems, we define the so-called Laplacian matrix, L bar. It is defined as uh, minus the interconnection matrix for the off-diagonal elements and the sum of the off-diagonal elements for the, uh, the sum is set as the diagonal element of this L. This matrix is very useful in the multi-agent systems control. And in fact, in some sense, it also plays the role of the interconnection matrix in the interconnected systems. So this is another difference. 
Again, we assume that the matrix L bar is symmetric. And also we have to assume something about the interconnection topology. As usual, we will assume that it is connected. Here, the assumption about symmetry of this matrix is not so natural, but again, it will simplify our analysis quite well. So the eigenvalues of the matrix L bar are positive up to the first eigenvalue, which is equal to zero, are positive and simple. So in both cases, we will need the so-called Kronecker product, defined as follows here. This Kronecker product is uh, very, very useful for many kind, many fields of control theory. It uh, enables us to find solutions of many matrix equations. But uh, we will have an opportunity to formulate the control of the interconnected systems or the multi-agent system in a compact form. So the first property is very useful. A times B times C times D equals A times C in Kronecker products with B times D. And what is also quite interesting, if A, B are square matrices, then the eigenvalues are multiples of the eigenvalues of A and B. So the dynamics of the N interconnected system systems can be expressed compactly as written here. Actually, I N is ident the identity matrix. So the first term is uh, actually a diagonal matrix with um, matrices A on the diagonal, but L times A tilde is the term which expresses the interconnections. Contrary to this, the multi-agent system is described as, again, block diagonal matrix with uh, matrices A on the diagonal, but the interconnections are in the term describing the controls. So the interconnection term is different. This is the first, uh, well, this is just another difference. And also we can see that we have no matrix A tilde in the case of multi-agent systems. So, for the multi-agent systems, we have to define the so-called disagreement dynamics. This, the disagreement is the difference of i-th agent minus the average dynamics. Again, it can be uh, put into a vector uh, to be able to work with this in a compacted form. And why? the multi-agent systems are and uh, the interconnected systems are so so different because the disagreement vector cannot be found in the case of large scale systems so the disagreement dynamics uh, can be expressed as the difference is again the matrix is A time plus L, L bar in Kronecker product with BK, which is very similar to the case of, uh, of the original formulation. And if we have no, no time, no different time delays, then we can uh, put uh, the E even in place of this X tilde, which contains the delayed states. And everything will work fine. However, if the delays are different, some care should be taken. But for the control design, this disagreement dynamics is used and also this, uh, this uh, original dynamics in case of the um, interconnected systems is used, used 
So these two equations are in a kind of counterparts of each other. So control design, if there are equal designs, equal delays and no disturbances, is very similar for all in both cases. We can find a suitable yakunov krasovsky functional, which uh, enables us to work with uh, delayed systems. This is uh, defined uh, using matrices PI. We express this uh, functional, the derivative of this functional as a quadratic form. And, find, and we find conditions guaranteeing that this quadratic form is negative definite. Then this LMI problem can be large. Uh, size with uh, the dimension uh, depends, it depends on N, on the number of subsystems or agents. So we can reduce this dy dimension and so that the LMI problems, the problem is manageable and we can find the control gain K, but and that is. So what is important that the size of the problem does not depend on, on, on the number of subsystems or agents. So this is one example of the lyapunov krasovsky functional, which is uh, taken from or not taken, which is which was inspired by one result in this book, with positive definite matrices P, S, and R bars. And if we want to find the synchronizing control for the multi-agent systems, we just replace X by the disagreement dynamics E. Everything stays as it is. So, As I said, we uh, find the different derivative of the lyapunov krasovsky functional, and it is expressed using these matrices lambda, which are very useful. They are dependent on two parameters, d prime and d double prime. And so, in case of the of the interconnection, interconnected system, we have to find solutions of these uh, two, of these two linear matrix inequalities. Zero is well greater, so which means that matrix lambda with uh, parameter d1 and one on the second side is negative definite, uh, lambda of the para parameter dn and 1 is also negative definite. d1 is the smallest eigenvalue of the matrix L, dn is the largest eigenvalue of the matrix L. Actually, this is how the reduction of the dimension is done. Because of convexity of the linear matrix inequalities, if these both inequalities hold, then this holds for all eigenvalues. And then, we can uh, find the stabilizing control using the matrix K, which is Y times Q to minus one to inversion of Q. Q is the matrix which was also one which was solved using, which was found, found using solution of this LMIs. Contrary to this, if we have uh, two LMIs, zero, uh, that lambda of zero and D2 in the second parameters, zero dn in the second parameters are both negative definite, then the multi-agent system is synchronized with this control. So actually this uh, stabilizing control, synchronizing control can be put can be defined using just one formula with just two parameters. So this is maybe one of the reasons why, why these two problems are so often confused. Anyway, the similarities continue. If we have some disturbances, 
So we can des design matrices lambda prime again with two parameters. And we can find H infinity a control which guarantees H infinity stability. Again, this is the same. We can see that uh, the lambda prime matrix is uh, is defined using matrix lambda from the previous slides. So again, it is very easy and very similar. But yeah, uh, if we look at the definition of the control for the large scale interconnected system, we can see that even if the delays are different, this control will stabilize this uh, large scale interconnected system. Or in case uh, if we have disturbances, then without any problems, we can have H infinity control. If we have different delays in the in the controller design of for multi-agent system, it will be much more difficult. So we can we can split the control as into two parts by setting by introducing zero in form uh, xj, which is the state of the j uh, agent, but with uh, but with uh, delay tau i, which is the delay of the i subsystem of which uh, the control is computed. This allows us to uh, split the control into the form which is uh, written at the bottom of this slide. Here we can uh, see that we have uh, the usual formulation of the multi-agent system, but with some additional term uh, which is characterized by the control U hat. And this U hat just contains these uh, uh, these uh, terms with uh, different delays. And we can see that this term acts like a disturbance. So if the multi-agent system has different delays in, in different agents, we cannot find the, the, stub, uh, the synchronizing control which will synchronize the system so that the disagreement vector uh, converges to zero. But we have to find to use the, the H infinity stability control. And we can see that uh, the integral of the disagreement vector of the quadra, or the norm of the disagreement vector of the norm is less than or equal than some constant times this disturbance, this disturbance, disturbance you had, which contains the different, uh, the different delays in various agents. So this is the conclusion of this part of the talk. The large scale system with the different delays can be uh, asymptotically stabilized without any problem. However, the multi-agent systems with heterogeneous delays cannot be synchronized, but a bound on, on the synchronization error can be found using the H-infinity control. So this is the one of the conclusions of this talk. So for example, we have three oscillators, the, sorry, for oscillators, but I will show the results from three. We have four oscillators interconnected in this way. The delays are not equal. Here, the asymptotic stabilization can be found. On the other hand, we have multi-agent systems with, sorry, with four os oscillators with different delays, again, we can find the control gain K. And what happens? The multi-agent system 
with if the delays are equal, you can see that the system is synchronized. If the delays are different, if the delays of the even it is sufficient that the delays in the state X1 are different, then the synchronization cannot be achieved. On the other hand, the the large scale system is stabilized without any problems. So, so we we have seen that uh, the stabilization of the large scale system is in kind in some sense easier than synchronization of a multi agent system. So uh, maybe I would like to I would skip this containment problem. Uh, very much because it uh, contains the results which are very similar to the results concerning multi-agent systems. So the containment problems is a generalization of a um, problem of leader following synchronization for multi-agent systems. We have instead of one leader, we have many leaders and the followers should attain the position and the convex hull of the of these leaders. Again, we will investigate the case when the delays are heterogeneous. I would like to skip. Well, this is our goal. The limit of the distance of the agent XI, which is one of the followers from the convex hull of the leaders. Should go to zero, but it won't be possible if the delays are different. Again, the control is defined in this way as the difference of the neighboring agents. And again, let us uh, focus on the last equation. We can see that the, the, the counterpart of the disagreement dynamics obeys this equation and the last term is again a kind of disturbance and this term uh, contains the uh, the terms with uh, different delays. So again we have to employ the H infinity control theory and we will find that again the sorry here the H infinity norm of the the dis disagreement vector, its counterpart of the disagreement vector is bounded by the norm of this disturbance. This disturbance is actually defined by the different delays. Again, the supremum of, of the distances uh, can be bounded in the limit. Again, I would like to show an example. We have three leaders, uh, again, uh, linear oscillators, and we can see that the heterogeneous delays cause an error. Again, we have, um, these are the leaders at one time instant, uh, this, uh, this pattern rotates because these are oscillators. Uh, the diamond and the star are the leaders. The line is the convex, convex hull, and the follower follows them with some, some distance. This distance is caused by the different delays in the, in the agents and does not go to infinity. Here, I have to ask you for pardon. I wanted to make some some animation because but I had some quite serious injury and I was in hospital so I could not do it. So imagine that this rotates and this circle does not converge to the convex hull of the leaders. This is the error. Again we can see that it's quite steady and this is how it looks when the delays are are equal, the, the delays are homogeneous. Then uh, the convex hull is quite well achieved. Again, the error. In the second example, we have a more difficult, more complex multi-agent system. Again, 
we have three leader again uh, the states of the of the followers which are represented by the crosses do not attain the convex hull of the three leaders which is the triangle contrary to this if the delays are homogeneous then the positions of the followers are represented by the circles and the convex hull is quite well achieved. So we, we have seen that the containment problem cannot be, cannot be solved precisely if the delays are, are different. And because the leader following problem is a special case of the containment problem, then the leader following cannot be achieved if the delays are not equal in all agents. So this is one, one part of my talk. And now I would like to go to the nonlinear large scale and multi-agent systems. So the most important tool is the uh, feedback linearization, the subsystems or the leader or the agents are nonlinear systems and they can be uh, linearized using the exact feedback linearization, which is uh, written here. We have to find some output y and then compute the lead derivatives of this output. Then using uh, an output, uh, sorry, using the input transformation, we can find that this, these subsystems or these agents are linearized and the linear form is here. Sorry, this. Uh, this psi should be without the sub, uh, with the subscript i on the right hand on the left hand side so now let us look at the nonlinear large scale systems so what we did so far was the exact feedback linearization on the on one subsystem but the nonlinear large scale systems have of course interconnections which are represented by the term I written on this slide. Again, L with element Lij is the interconnection matrix. And we will assume that the states of the other subsystems influence the i subsystems through this function L, through this function lambda xj. This function lambda will act as the output. So we will have to look at the uh, exact feedback linearization of this uh, subsystem more closely because of these interconnections. Again, the transformation Xi is a transformation of the original state X as here. And we will assume, we will define this uh, transformation T so that the first coordinate is the output of the uh, of the system represented by the function lambda. So the term i, the interconnection term, is expressed as the Lij, the interconnection matrix, time a tilde, which uh, has a connection with the matrix a tilde from the linear systems times xi j1. Xi j1 is the first component of the vector xi j, of the transform, transformed vector xi. Again, so this uh, allows us to transform the subsystem into the uh, linear form, which is at the bottom, but without interconnections. But what is at the bottom is also the output, sorry, the input transformation, which is also very important. But since we have the interconnections, 
the interconnections are transformed in this way. So we have an additional term and what to do with it. So it is really difficult to find some general form of, of it because it uh, because it can uh, attain a really an arbitrary form. So what we can do is to say that the, this in that these interconnections are in fact a kind of uncertainty, which is expressed as usual using matrices D prime, E prime, and matrix function F, which is in the norm less than Z, than one. So when I was dealing with these systems, I really didn't know what to do else than converting uh, the interconnections into an uncertainty. So uh, I think it is quite natural because the interconnections should be quite, uh, say, quite small compared to the uh, to the dynamics of the of the of the subsystem itself. So that's why I think it's quite good that uh, these interconnections are converted into the, these uncertain terms. Also, uh, the control of the entire large scale system should be able to mitigate these, un uh, these interconnections which act again as a kind of something unwanted. So why not to express these nonlinear uh, interconnections as uh, something uncertain? So the whole system can be expressed using this uh, using this uh, Kronecker product as can be seen here. The only thing what makes problem are these uh, uncertain term fu function f. But if you are familiar with the robust control design, this uh, function f uh, disappears during this design. So the nonlinear large scale interconnected system is converted into the problem of robust stabilization of an uncertain system which is linear. Again, when we have this uh, this control, then we have to find uh, the backward transformation, the inverse transformation, but it's no problem. So this is these are some technical details how to uh, how to define this matrix f matrix function f such that its norm is equal to one but it's not so difficult so this is this function f is removed and one can use the uh, the lyapunov function as written here as chronic product of identity matrix and some positive definite function we can be the, as i said we find control which is linear in the transform coordinates and so again we have to find the inverse transformation and get the control of these subsystems and this control is nonlinear it works with the nonlinear subsystems subsystems and is such that it stabilizes the entire interconnected systems, interconnected system, even in presence of these interconnections. And let us focus on this nonlinear, on these nonlinear multi-agent systems. Again, the agents are as, as here. We can see no interconnections here, so we can define the output as we want 
سجزت the relative degree condition which is uh, some technicality is uh, satisfied then you can uh, then we can find the transformation t in the same way as before and then we find a linear form of this uh, of this agent using this uh, transfer coordinates xi xi derivative is equal to a xi plus b times vi vi is again the linearized input of this agent so we can define the compacted formulation and we can see that this is a standard multi-agent system with a state zeta and uh, input omega so standard formulation standard control design for the synchronizing control can be used this is no problem but again we can we can reformulate this uh, control in the original coordinate using the inverse transformation and then this uh, this nonlinear multi-agent system is synchronized we we have seen that we have we needed no additional robustness so what is a similarity again the relative degree condition must be uh, satisfied the procedure for the finding of the control is identical again the Linear, the linearization, the feedback linearization, and then using the linear design methods. The differences are that the output can be chosen for the multi-agent system. The output is given in the case of the large scale system. And we need no robustness for the control design for the multi-agent system. The need for the robustness comes from the existence of the interconnections in the large scale system. So that's all I have no, no examples here because I think it's not necessary to, to present them. What was important were the similarities and the differences in the control design process. So I would like to control the talk. Pro, I, it presented the problems of stabilization of large scale interconnected systems and synchronization of a multi agent system. It, they were compared. When the delays are heterogeneous, then this is no problem for the large scale system. It is a problem for the multi agent system where the synchronization cannot be, uh, be found. Contrary to this, the stabilization of, the, of a nonlinear large scale system needs some more robustness, so it is more difficult than synchronization of a nonlinear multi agent systems. So we can see that both problems are similar, but both problems are really different. So they are not identical. I think that's all. And I would like to thank you for your kind attention. Well, thank you, Branislav, for your presentation. Uh, now we'll see if you have any, any questions. Um, Gerardo, can you hear me? Okay. Maybe you can you can help me to organize the questions in the audience if there, there are any, and I, I will see here the questions okay. online. Do you have any questions? Yes, hello. I'm not familiar with the the average dynamics were unaffected by the system or some. The phone's cut. No, 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 could you please the question? 
Ranislav, can you hear the question? Well, uh, unfortunately, I did not understand the question very well, so if you can repeat it. So. Um, yes, hello. Uh, earlier in the presentation, when the average dynamics were unaffected by the control, was that just a postulate of the system? Uh, not to completely the first time. Uh, Sorry again, uh, Javier, could you repeat the question? I didn't understand very well. I didn't well. understand also very well. Uh, so, Gerardo, I, I don't know if you can talk a little uh, closer to the microphone to, to repeat the question. I'm sorry. Yes, Was the population that um, average dynamics are un unaffected by the control of a postulate of the system or something else. Uh, well, I understood something uh, concerning the average dynamics and. Yes, if. Um, The question was um, that was something that was postulated for the system or, or was um, derived from something before before in the presentation. Yeah. So. Uh, well, yes, the uh, every dynamics is uh, quite a standard tool in the multi agent systems and defined as the average of the, the states of the agents, but. No, no, no. Affected by the control. Well, no. Uh, well, the average dynamics uh, is not affected by the control. It is because uh, the Laplacian matrix L times actually the average dynamics, which is equal for all agents. So it can be expressed the uh, Laplacian matrix times times the vector of all ones times the average dynamics and the Laplacian matrix times the vector of all ones is equal to zero. Uh, identically, this is the property of the Laplacian matrix. So the average ma dynamics is really not affected by the control. Thank you. Well, I don't know if the people connected online, there's the, is there any question? Just raise your hand. Or if there's... Yep. Questions can be done in chat. Yep. Well, I have a question, Professor. Yes, Are you thinking in some applications uh, to, to, to apply this uh, controller? And how many agents are you thinking to validate the, the, the control scheme? Sorry, how many uh, agents are, uh, are considered in the scheme? Or? So if, it, if you have any applications, I understood. Uh, but I, I OK, didn't. it's applications. Well, I didn't uh, yeah, I didn't apply it in any application, so it was a purely theoretical result. Mm -hmm. But what is the limitation is um, uh, actually uh, there are not so many limitations because the controller design problem is not uh, is not dependent on the number of of the agents so from this point this is uh, not a problem but of course uh, the problem is uh, the problem can be with the uh, difficult agents with uh, some matrices a of a large uh, dimension which can cause the LMI problem to be infeasible or, or impossible, impossible to be solved and so on. 
So this is the limitation. Thank you. Uh, I, ha I, have an, I have a question. Yes. Uh, comparing these this similarities between both problems, uh, can we use these similarities to, for, to simplify the design of a control law, particular control law for a problem? I mean, if you compare the particular problem for large scale systems, it can be used to find to simplify the design in, in multi-agent system, for instance, or otherwise. Well, actually, actually, uh, well, to be uh, used for uh, simplifying, I think the I think that this uh, this uh, design methods are so uh, so close to each other that mm -hmm. uh, they are really really very similar. Uh, to, I don't see uh, any way how they could be even more similar. The, the both problems are formulated using the Kronecker products. Both mm -hmm. are using the same uh, yapunov krasovsky functional. Yeah, Actually, yeah. the way how the dimension reduction is made is the same, and so on. So uh, they are really so similar, so that even some people think they are the same. So uh, actually, what I wanted. Uh, is actually to point out the differences even the, more than the similarities, because the similarities are really many. Yes. Yeah. And actually, uh, I moved to multi-agent systems just from the large scale systems because it was, in fact, no problem. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. So, Gerardo, I don't know if there are any more questions on, on the audience. Somebody in line? In, uh... there are there any other questions? No, it seems that there are no more questions. So if there are no more questions, I think we'll kind of finish here. And thank you very much, Varenza, for your talk. And thank you very much for invitation. For your participation. And <laughs> I think we can we have a uh, how now we uh, break here and continue uh, a little later. Thank you Gerardo professor for your presentation. Okay uh, now we will cross this uh, keynote in